Hi everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We're as always your hosts, Arna and Carlos. And this is episode 17 of our knit along. We are knitting a stocking together with you guys, yep. and hopefully it will be ready by December 1st. We are working very hard to we get it all out. Hard. <laughs> and uh, you can download the pattern for free every day after we finish the podcast. We always want to reveal our six new rounds first yeah. before you get the chart. And it's free until 1st of December. Absolutely. We've got a great community as well down below in the comments. So uh, please uh, check, it, check it out and uh, you know, post your progress. Talk about how you're doing, with, uh, you know, how you're enjoying it. If you have any questions, put them there. We'll try to answer them. Yeah. And if we can answer them, hopefully some of our fantastic, very advanced knitters can help. Yes. This is nice. People help each other. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what we like. And maybe today you need help because um, this was hard. I've done I've, I've done the six rounds, and this time you repeat the the repeat is uh, on two needles, so you repeat the chart only two times. Yeah, not, not like it's always two times, but some, normally the report is the repeat is over four needles, but this one is over two. Mm. Was that correct, Seth? Well, we're all very curious. I mean, I'm super curious. I'm sure uh, Bob, Donnie, Susie and Fran are very <laughs> curious waiting. to see the design. And maybe we'll do it a little different today. Usually I think it's just we... because this yeah. was harder. Mm. Because there's no logic repetition in the pattern. So, uh, and you know, when, when we filmed this, I wanted to do it clean and everything should be so smooth. And you don't want to do mistakes or anything. Mm. And I don't know what Eric is showing because he's cutting the videos after we have done this because this is pre recorded and I did one mistake Ooh. I know I was knitting uh, one stitch wrong I think at the end of the needle and I, th I thought I did it wrong and then I put one needle in my mouth and I continue knitting so after a while I had uh, 16 stitches on one needle and you know having Working on three needles with so many stitches is impossible mm. to get from one. So why did you do that? Because I fixed the last oh. stitch with the next needle, mm. and then I forgot to take it out of my mouth, and I was knitting with the needle in my mouth, forgetting that I had it in my mouth. Okay. So I did some. So I had to stop, and like I had to put uh, the first sixteen back on the needle. Mm. So 16, that's 32 stitches on one needle. Yeah, now, yeah, okay. Now I think you are making people extremely curious. So why don't we do the reveal first and then we'll, you know, we'll deal with all yeah. the so issues. So don't do, don't do this. Just keep your eye on the pattern. Yeah. But you know when you Go want, the other way. I yeah. try to make it perfect on camera and that's hard. Yeah. So now today... And then turn it around so people can see the heel. No, 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 the oh, heel. The heel. There we go. And then to this and I guess you see you can see what's coming well we won't say it because we won't say it it might be misinterpreted you never know no but this report is repeated on this side mm. oh so it goes pattern. over it goes is so each repeat goes over two needles it goes over two needles whoa yeah that, that see, makes this it is a shorter repeat so this yeah. is easier to get the rhythm of but this one is hard to get it's hard to get the rhythm. And there are some carrying of floats. And you know, if you don't knit in front of the camera, it's fine. But when you try to be, do it perfect on camera, yeah. it doesn't work. <laughs> and now we've probably started to worry all the new beginners, but don't worry. I mean, we've, you know, we've done, well, we've, we've done a good, uh, easy um, design up until there. Have you done So that you this? have been able to practice. This is not a problem. No, absolutely but not. But doing it on the camera is... Mm. So, but I, I don't, I'm not sure if I did a mistake, or maybe I created a mistake. So, if I done that, I will show you on another video how I fix it. Oh, okay. So you'll have to go through the whole thing and then check. Yeah, because wow. there can be one stitch wrong, and you know, it's not the end of the world. For you, it but apparently I can, is. I can do the duplicate stitch. You're acting like it's the end of the world. It is a bit uh, <laughs> hard. It's hard for me. <laughs> yeah. So this was the six rounds of the day. Yeah. It's looking interesting. Huh? I think there's going to be something really nice coming up there uh, eventually. We so. hope. So, but it's, it's not hard when you keep your eye on the chart. But for me, it was a bit hard. Yeah. Keeping your, your fingers or the knitting under the camera, keeping an eye on the chart because you don't want to show the chart 
in no, the camera. Exactly, yeah. And then after I have finished or moved those uh, 18 stitches back to the right needle, my paper fold over. Ooh. So I couldn't see the pattern because I had that like hidden in the back. <laughs> so. so it's been a little bit of a day, hasn't it? It's a hard yeah. part. <laughs> and other than that, I mean, uh, our cleaning, uh, clearing projects are still ongoing. Uh, yesterday, we uh, got um, rid of a washing machine that we had upstairs. Yeah, and that was hard. Well, it could have been much harder. I mean, Arne figured uh, that instead of carrying the whole thing, we'd just un unscrew it yeah. and carry the pieces. And actually, that was good because um, it I... wasn't, you know, the, the, you know, carrying a huge piece of machinery downstairs that are winding like the ones we have in a very old house well that is hard that's very hard but carrying the part inside the one the the centrifuge yeah. which is the heaviest part just that made it so much easier and and i'm not sure if we had managed to get it through the door because i'm a little bit unsure of if we got the door into the bathroom after the washing machine or if the if we no idea because when when we took that the thing from the inside the one that's going around mm -hmm. when we took that out it was just so much on each side I, you know what i have absolutely so no I'm not idea sure how what it got came first the door or the washing i don't I know the washing machine came i don't know i mean first. it's it's what 15 years ago that yeah. we installed that washing machine in the bathroom and it hasn't left since so yeah no no i mean i really I, I don't know so I'm not sure. And then there's like the around the door, there's this piece of wood, like the frame. Mm -hmm. And it's so big because it's mm. uh, it's um, log. It's a log cabin. That part of the house is, is log timber. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's wide like this. So you can't open the door and lift it off. Mm. So you have to screw it off. Yeah. So I think there was a problem with the door, but we, we fixed it. I know, we figured it out. Uh, it's out of the house. <laughs> In uh, pieces. So if anybody wants an old machine, they need to know how to screw it together. Yeah, well, we also ripped out some cables, so, you know, <laughs> it's probably not going to work anymore. But it is, uh, it is a machine that we've had for over 20 years, and it is time to retire it. So even if it is working, um, it's not the best. No. I mean, it's not a very good machine anymore. And, uh, and it's good to get rid of it. And it probably, it probably takes a lot of our electricity as well, because oh, it is an oh. old, very old machine. Yeah. So uh, out with an old and in with a new, but and don't do that too often. <laughs> we try to do that as seldom as we can. Yeah. But this time, the washing machine is on a concrete floor, on first floor. No, no, it's on a marble floor. On the, yeah, but it's concrete under. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so concrete and, <laughs> and then marble and then a washing machine. Be because before, when the washing machine did some heavy stuff, the whole house was shaking. Yeah, it was very chaotic. It's like you had to look out for things on shelves so they didn't fall off. Mm, yeah. That is a good thing. Now it's more quiet. The house doesn't move anymore. No, it doesn't. Uh, like, yeah. I couldn't go to the bathroom when the machine was going because the whole room was shaking. It was scary. I know. Anyway, life's getting better and better here. Uh, and we are enjoying our extension. And we're enjoying enjoying everything that we've done. Uh, this year in the house and it's just yeah, I don't know. It's just better living I wish we could spend more time here though. Yeah, me too. Uh, we do travel a lot So we don't get to enjoy it as much as we should But you know one day we'll retire and then we'll enjoy it. <laughs> do you think that will happen? No, no I, don't I seriously doubt we have we can <sighs> No, yeah, so we'll see anyway uh, <laughs> Well, there's uh, so much more to do. So we have more houses. Yeah, we do. Yeah, and it's not finished yet. No, <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that's the little uh, that's the little thing that we've been doing yeah. today: uh, knitting and uh, taking out uh, washing, washing machines. machines. And we had the carpenter came yesterday also to look at uh, the hall because we have this electricity thing, electricity thing. Yeah, and we're going to hide it behind. We have the fuse boxes yeah. and all the wires and we're going to hide the pipes behind and doors. So there will be like a room 30 centimeter wide with doors so mm -hmm. we can hide stuff, including the electricity things. Yeah, we have to design that room. We have to design the room. But it'll, yeah, we'll do that. But we got inspired, we were inspired on the garden tour to England, the last garden tour. Yeah. Was it Hugh or Cos? No, where was it? One of the Cos? Hever? Or was it the other one? There was one, no, the one with uh, Shakespeare in Love. Oh, yeah, the... Um... Oh, well, Brockton Castle, I think it was. Yeah, it's the Ralph fin fin Fines. Fines, his family and his the brother. What's his name? Joseph. Joseph. 
their family came from this place in England. Yeah. And we, we had the tour, including the garden and the tour of the house. And we walked nice. through this hallway and there was doors mm. on the wall. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. That just, uh, instead of, we've had a curtain before. Now we're getting doors. It'll be nice. Yeah. It'll be really nice. So let's uh, do the reveal one more time. One more time. It's actually... Um, yesterday you did it, so it's actually my should, turn. I, I think you should do it. So um, you know, I'll go, I'll go that way, and then we'll do that, and we'll flip it over. And here are the six uh, stitches or six rounds from today, and it is beginning to look a lot like something Christmassy uh, coming it's up. It's beginning to look a lot, yeah. lot like Christmas. It's some sort of a bell, I would think, but we don't know. It could be something Maybe. else. We, it could be, it could be something else. But anyway, something is appearing here. And uh, remember, you can download the pattern at arnacardis.com. You, you can't keep a secret, Carlos. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. <laughs> but it doesn't take much. Yeah, we, can always, it. we can always uh, turn this off and, and record it again. No, but we're not. No, we're not. Uh, anyway, tomorrow we will continue the design. There's going to be six more rows. And remember, all you need to do is go to arnacardis.com slash blog or just select blog from the menu on our website. Download today's uh, chart, and today's chart will also include all the other chart, or all the other days and rounds. So you'll get a, a, a full chart up until here. Tomorrow it will grow by so another six. And if you so start on on. today, you still have time. Oh, you till you you know what? You have plenty of time until December twenty fourth if you start today, uh, because today is episode sixteen, which means it's November sixteen hmm. when we air this. It's not November the sixteenth today here because we're recording it at another time of the year. You could guess <laughs> what time of the year it is. We've given some clues. It, it, it might be the unofficial competition. Yeah, but we have, an, we have another competition, don't we? We do, yeah. So let's go to the official competition. The official competition. So we've got a really cool competition running this year uh, where we will randomly select a lucky winner who will win uh, our latest uh, e-booklet that we have done for Rowan. Uh, and enough of the Rowan Norwegian wool yarn to knit one of the sweaters from this uh, e-booklet in any size they want. Yeah, and the uh, inspiration for this collection is uh, Svalbard. So we have the husky sweater, we have the dog sledge, we have cables, and we have polar bears. And the only thing you have to do is to answer this question. How many books have we published? Yep, that's the question uh, for this year. And uh, we want you to put the answer in the comments down below. It's a number we're looking for, and we're going to give you a little hint. Uh, Wikipedia is not um, a reliable source, uh, so you may want to look elsewhere if you want to get the correct answer. Yeah. And uh, you can put the answer down preferably once uh, per day uh, during this knit along, and that will increase uh, your chances. But please do not put the answer more than once per day because then you will be ghosted by YouTube and you do not want that to happen. So once a day is pretty much enough. Yeah. And uh, we will announce the lucky winner um, in December. So this will be um, a fine Christmas. Well, one person will get a really fine Christmas prezi from Arne and me in the post as well. Yes. So remember to like and subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, put on that notification bell because then you won't miss the episode. Yep. And make sure to interact with our content as that really helps us here on YouTube. And uh, last but not least, uh, for additional content, uh, make sure to look at the uh, offer that we have for members. Uh, becoming a member means that you will get 15-minute uh, catch-ups with us every week. Uh, we do live streams where we offer our knitting help and expertise. We've got shenanigans in the kitchen and shenanigans, well, actually, <laughs> shenanigans pretty much wherever we go. Um, and then there's fun uh, things like badges and emojis and other kind of content like that. So um, if you want to become a member or if you want to consider it, all you need to do is visit our channel at Arna Carlos, go to the subscribe button, and next to the subscribe button, you've got a join button. Join uh, by clicking and then selecting your tier. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you uh, for that additional content as well. And if not, it's perfectly okay. We look forward to seeing you here every day uh, for our knit along and then for our usual episodes on Sundays. Yes. Yeah. So, so thank you for watching, and we will catch up with you very, very soon again. Bye. Bye.